Hi everybody, welcome to this particular video. Another opportunity for me to just check in with you on this Saturday evening, just to see how things are. It's obviously a really strange time, lots of people in lockdown and isolation. So just thought I'd check in and say hi and ask if you're doing okay. Um, so we did this a couple of weeks ago. If you've got anything to share, whether it's good, bad or middling, as I like to put it, um, put it down in the comments. Let me know and, and um, share with the, the rest of our United City community how you're getting on in this particular time. If you've got any suggestions about um, how people can get through this period and, and remain sane and uh, some of the projects that you're maybe doing that you haven't been able to get to before now because you've been too busy or whatever it is, just keep um, keep it coming in the comments below and keep telling us about what you're up to. From my part, to be honest, seven days a week YouTube for, for my channel is what's keeping me going, really. It's the thing that um, ultimately I put all of my time into and that's been really, really amazing for me to have um, such structure. Hello, Lottie. Um, anybody that hasn't met my puppy, this is Lottie. I can't get her. There you go. Hello. So yeah, she's my assistant manager a lot of the time. She's often just sitting just down here asleep when I record videos. Um, but yeah, Football Manager, my channel is what's keeping me going. It's the thing that I put all my energies and my time into. Um, and I'm really grateful for having such a structure to my day because of it. And in an isolation experience, even though my wife's around, it's still good that I've got a project. And so that's, you know, that's how I'm keeping sane. I hope you've got something too that's keeping your mind active in this time. It's really important as well as being um, able to keep yourself physically in shape. Um, I'm not so good at that one. But anyway, I hope you're doing okay. Let me know how you're getting on in the comments below. And um, there's a couple of other little things that I want to talk to you about, though. Just uh, the first thing is that the, the views on my evening videos have gone down a little bit recently, and that's partly because people's habits and, um, are changing, partly because at this time of year, people just drift away from watching Football Manager videos a little bit. But I think also because I release at eight o'clock in the evening um, in England in GMT time, um, I think it um, clashes with a lot of the big guys doing their streams. Dr. Benji FM does a stream. Um, Loki Doki does a stream a few uh, few days a week. Lelujo is doing a nightly stream. All those kind of bigger guys are doing it around the eight o'clock time. So I think I'm struggling a little bit because of that. Uh, so I'm going to move my time slot for the next week um, just to half past six in the evening GMT. Um, and just see whether I can grab a few before they go off and watch these bigger streams, etc. So that's what we're going to do from tomorrow evening when we're going to be doing our second episode of our new series, FM20 Deja Vu. Uh, that will drop at half past six tomorrow evening, as will all of my videos this coming week. And just see what happens, just to see what makes a difference. Um, and maybe it won't make any difference, and that's fine. But you've got to try these things occasionally and I've noticed a bit of a drop off. So it's time to do something about that. I'm also just above uh, 2,400. Yeah, 2,400 subs. And I'd quite like to get to 2,500 if possible. So if you've got any creative ways in which we can do that and just boost those subs a little bit, do let me know in the comments below also. Um, and if you can give me a shout out to your um, followers or your... Um, friends that you know watch the the content of other people or that they play the game themselves whatever it might be if you could help that be brilliant just by sharing and liking the videos and chucking them around your uh, network of, of friends that'd be really helpful but I'd love to get to 2500 we didn't quite manage it from the Loki Doki raid we got to about 2460 at the moment, I think we're down to about 2,407, something like that. So we've dropped a little bit. Time to get it back up again, if possible. See if we can get to that 2,500. If we do get to 2,500, um, before the change get of the game for FM21, then if we can do it before then, I will run a draw. And whoever wins the draw with a few um, boundaries will choose my beta save my beta tw FM21 um, team to, to manage. So that would be something that I can put into the mix. If we can get up to 2,500, I'll run a, a draw. You can all put your names in the hat and uh, the winner will get to choose the team for that particular FM beta series that I'll be doing at the start of FM21. So that's one of the things that I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, so that's the time slot. That's the sub count. 
The next thing on the list to talk to you about is a brand new series coming on Wednesday. We've just finished our second relegation rescue series. We would, uh, did the first one at Augsburg in, Ger in Germany and we did the second one at Sparta Rotterdam, just finished that in Holland. We're not going to do a third one just at this point. We will do another one in a few weeks from now, uh, but I just wanted a bit of a break. To be honest, it's quite painful. It's quite a hard series to go through. If you've been following it, you know what I mean. Um, so we're going to do something slightly different. I put out a tweet a couple of days ago with a couple of titles for series, three different titles that I've got ideas for. Just the titles, no information. And I asked my Twitter um, followers to vote in a poll as to which one they would want to uh, watch. And what came out was Reputation Rescue. So we're going to take a club that have maybe slightly dropped off the pace from where they should be. And we're going to spend a little time with them and see if we can rebuild them. It probably will be slightly longer than half a season as the relegation rescues were. Um, but I'll, um, I'll figure out the exact details of that in the next day or so. But that will happen this coming Wednesday evening for those that are watching this as this drops on Saturday. So watch out for that. Brand new series, brand new club. It'll be in a different league as well. Um, and so, yeah, it'll be interesting to see where we can take a team that have maybe just dropped off slightly that we can rebuild a little bit and put them back to where they were possibly. But yeah, come and check that one out on Wednesday evening. As I say, FM20 Deja Vu started last week. Tomorrow evening on Sunday, the second episode of that drops. So if you haven't checked that out, go and check the first episode out and it will tell you everything you need to know about what that series is about. I've also got the Rolling in the Isles series. We're into Club 3 of Rolling in the Isles. We started at Cove Ramblers in Ireland, went to Connors Key Nomads in Wales and now we're at Derby County. Um, and we're doing pretty well with them. It's, it's going quite well. I won't give you anything specific, but go check that out if you haven't. Uh, already that's a, a good series to keep up with um, so those are my series and that's the new series coming on Wednesday so I hope you'll continue to support them thank you for the, the support that you've given them already it's amazing so the next thing I want to talk to you about is the channel art um, my YouTube channel art I had it all redesigned recently I got a new logo new banner etc so if you haven't checked it out or hadn't noticed that that was the case go check it out and let me know what you think I'm I'm really happy with the the rebranding of it all I think it looks much more professional I got somebody to do it for me basically rather than you know doing it myself in the paint program on my computer for example but um, that the previous one served me well it got me started but it was time for a, a bit of a uh, an updated look and a better look and I'm really happy with how it's turned out so go and check that out and let me know what you think about that so the final thing that I want to talk to you about is just um, and there's another there's another opportunity for us to do a Q&A coming up this Friday evening if you want to do one and it's just determined on uh, determined on whether you ask any questions or not. So if you've got a question for me, go check out the previous Q&A um, video that I've got on my channel just to see that you're not asking the question that's already been asked and answered in that one. Um, but yeah, if you've got a question you'd like to ask me, it could be about absolutely anything, football manager, football in general, general day life um my view on anything it doesn't matter what it is and i'll pick the best ones out that i get and i'll do a q a for next friday evening possibly um if i get enough questions in but it's just up to you if if it doesn't happen if you haven't got an, enough questions to do another q a at this point that's fine i'll just put another episode of rolling in the aisles out as in, instead on a friday evening as i always would so um, yeah, that's the final thing that I wanted to ask you about is just whether you had any more questions for a Q&A video. Uh, so get thinking about that. Put them in the comments below. There'll be an opportunity on my Twitter page in the next couple of days. I'll put a tweet out asking for questions there as well. So you can attach it to that tweet either um, or either the comments below. It's, it's either up to you. I don't mind which way you do it. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's all I wanted to really fill you in on, ask you about. Um, and yeah. Um, we continue to move forward as the channel grows and, and hopefully the content is <laughs> so thanks very much for giving me a few minutes of your time this evening I really hope you're okay as much as I can I always try as much as I can to respond to comments in the, in the uh, videos um, comment sections so if you've got anything to say anything you want to um, offer as a thought keep them coming um, I always listen, I always hear. It doesn't mean I always follow everything that people ask me to do, but I'll, I'll genuinely try and reply to as many as I can. So 
thank you for your support so far. Thank you for giving me such a, a, a great thing to be able to put my focus into during this particular time of isolation. But even beyond that, I've said it before, the, the, the opportunity to do my channel now that I've got a viewership that are um, part of it and interacting with it is just immensely improved my day-to-day -day life. So I'm really appreciative of it, appreciative of it if even that's a word and I'm before I lose the plot completely I will leave it there and so I don't ramble on so thank you very much for joining me subscribe to the channel if you haven't join my United City community click that like button on this video and remember to share stuff around get me out there a bit more I want to reach those 2,500 subscribers if I can so thanks a lot take care of yourselves I'll see you very soon bye for now